This is what actually happens when narcissists always come back after they dumped you. Without a doubt, today is a great show. This new show will be about people who are full of themselves. We are very grateful to everyone who came today. We hope this video helps you learn something. If you subscribe and turn on alerts, you can find out when a new video is added. So, let's get to work. This movie shows that narcissists are always looking for ways to get better at what they do. Even though they have clear flaws, narcissists might sometimes get your attention again. There's no good reason for this though. A liar who is good at lying does not deserve a second chance. Narcissists are rude and only care about themselves. If narcissists have a chance, they won't lose it. Every time you came back to them and gave them another chance, they would be thrilled. They won't be happy until they've eaten everything you have to offer. In their efforts to get you back, they will do whatever it takes. If you want to make up with someone who hurt you in the past, you need to really think about why you want to do it. Here are four times when making up with a narcissist might be a good idea. People who are attracted to or stuck with self-centered people, like narcissists, might want to figure out why they feel this way. Before a second chance is given, people often want to hear a sincere apology. Narcissists shouldn't be able to vote because they almost never feel sorry for what they've done. Even so, there are many ways in which a narcissist's target and narcissist can get along again. This happened pretty often, if not all the time. First, we'll look at how narcissists explain away their bad behavior by pointing out their own flaws. One of the main reasons we give narcissists another chance is that we're afraid of losing something important to us if we cut ties with them. Some people are afraid of being alone because they haven't found the right person to spend the rest of their lives with, or they have given up hope of finding that person. Both possibilities are possible. I found that some people are afraid to cut ties with this bad person because they don't want to be left alone. Fear of being single is a big reason why people stay in bad relationships. If this sounds like you, you might want to look at your fears and think about what you have to be thankful for. Sometimes you have to close one door before you can open another. If you hold on to someone or something that isn't helping you grow, you might miss an opportunity to move on. You might be the one missing out on all the fun. Because you're so focused on finding the one, you're forgetting that you already have love inside of you and deserve more. So now you feel like the biggest loser in the world. The first step toward freedom is to find peace and love within yourself. If given the benefit of the doubt, it's possible that a narcissist could do well. One of your friends or family members could be the one to do it. It also seems likely that this is true. You may always feel like your friends and family want you to fix things with the narcissist. Remember that the people telling you to accept the narcissist again are not themselves victims of the narcissist. Don't wait for other people to notice your pain before you take care of yourself. People often put their own wants and needs last because they want to make other people happy. They give the narcissist another chance because friends, family or other people told them to. You are the only one who can decide if you should give someone a second chance. Try not to doubt yourself by wondering if other people will understand. Follow your moral sense, even if it goes against what everyone else thinks. Third, when love and concern for the narcissist don't go away. People who have hurt or betrayed a narcissist are generally very important to them. This is a common effect of relationships that are bad for you. This way of doing things is called normalization. Is there anything you can do when the person who hurt you still makes you feel bad? If the answer is yes, you can't do anything but go back. The truth is that we will always have to show dedication to some people from afar, and it's up to us to accept that. You shouldn't stay close to someone who has hurt you so much. You don't even have to be in the same room as someone to love them. If they are already mean to you, 
Being around you and showing love can make them even worse. Don't try to change things because you know you can't. For some, it all comes down to love in the end. Some people are ready to give a narcissist a second chance, depending on how they feel about them. Just because narcissists may keep saying they've grown and changed, and that things can only get better from here on out. You are more likely to think that the quick change has made your relationship with the narcissist stronger, no matter how short it was. Negative memories of abuse may be hidden or played down, giving the person a false sense of hope. During the love bombing phase, a narcissist is sure to make a good impact on the people they hurt. Because they really cared about you, it didn't take long for you to feel welcome and at home among them. People might think about things again if they get a lot of attention or have strong memories of things that happened in the past. Be careful not to fall for the trick. Narcissists know how to get what they want by making other people think they need it more. If you like what you see, you can subscribe to my channel and follow it. In all four of the situations I just described, the narcissist gets a second chance. Giving narcissists another chance is pointless, since they'll only hurt you again. No one stands to gain from a narcissist's return to the scene because they only care about themselves. If you're having trouble, don't talk about these four things. Because the narcissist isn't being honest, your friends and family may start to put too much pressure on you. We'd really appreciate it if you'd tell us what you think. Message me if you want to talk. Do you get what I've said today? Don't be afraid to say what you think down below. If you like this video, please click the like button below to show your thanks. Click the bell icon below to subscribe and be notified when new material is added. I really appreciate that you want to hear what I have to say. Thank you. Hello everyone, the conclusion in this video, the idea of giving narcissists a second change in relationship. It begins by introducing a new show focused on self-centered individuals and express gratitude for the audience presence. The message encourages viewers to subscribe for notification or new content. The article highlights that narcissists constantly strive to improve despite their flaws and can regain attention despite their negative traits. The main message revolves around the caution against giving narcissists second change. It emphasizes that skilled liars and self-centered individuals shouldn't be granted such opportunities due to their lack of genuine remorse. Narcissists prioritize themselves displaying rudeness and manipulation. Their persistence to regain favor is driven by self-interest. Often disagreeing, the harm caused. The video lists for a scenario where ranting with a narcissist might seem reasonable such as a fear of being alone or losing something significant. Yet it stresses the importance of self-reflection and the need for sinners apologies. However, the article warns that narcissists rarely express genuine remorse. The video suggests that friends and family might pressure victims to recognize with narcissists, but the discussion ultimately raised with the individuals. It underscores the significance of self-care and not scrambling to external influence. Additionally, the article acknowledges that some individuals might consider giving narcissists another change due to their claims of change. However, it cautions against this, highlighting the manipulation tactics narcissists employ and the danger of falling for them again. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.